Welcome back to another episode of Tailgate Talk, everybody. My name is Evan, and you may notice a little, little change in scenery here. We're outside. Uh, I've got the truck parked under the carport now. Um, it was parked in the shop, but I've got something in there now that's taking its place. Um, I'll, uh, I'll try to see if I can get a little flash photo for you. Give you a little sneak peek at uh, what's to come. It's something really exciting. It's something I am um, very glad to have in my possession now. Um, it was my dad's uh, and a car that he worked on and restored. Um, so I'll try and get that picture loaded up um, just as a little teaser. So we're uh, we're outside in nature, and uh, my truck's covered in bird poo. The birds land on it and they crap and they take off. So I'm gonna have to little, have a little chat with my cat about that. He's not doing his job keeping the birds away. But uh, let's get right to it. Today we've got a performance part for Bad Bug, and those of you who know VWs will know what this is. This is a camber compensator. Um, this bolts up to the to the transaxle and ties into the axles. And what this does is um, it helps the car stay upright during high-speed cornering. Now, um, if you know Volkswagens, they were not designed for um, high-speed anything. They were designed to cruise in the Autobahn at 60, 65 miles an hour, relative comfort, uh, low, low maintenance, you know, stuff like that. So, um, when people started souping them up and going around corners, the rear wheels would tuck under and uh, cause the car to uh, heavily oversteer or even roll. So um, back in the 60s, MP, uh they created a little spring that tucks up underneath the rear of the car and it helps hold everything tight and uh, straight up and down so that you can go around a corner without fear of rolling over. So. Um, in my quest to create a speed racer kind of car, um, we went ahead and purchased a camber compensator. Um, it's probably a good idea for anybody that's souped up their bug anyways uh, to have one of these on. Um, and this only applies to the, the older IRS or uh, swing axle types. The IRS, those, those cars handle good from the factory, but the swing axle uh, if you're going to do any kind of high-speed driving, you want one of these. Um, it helps with stability. So, um, you know, we're, we've already got a souped-up motor, and the car's a little twitchy. Um, so this will really help the stability, helps improve the suspension and, and handling of the car. Uh, so I'm excited to get this on. Um, we're still in the teardown process, so uh, this won't be going on anytime soon. But I just wanted to take a moment, share another part with you from the tailgate, um, and I'll continue to bring these to you. We've got lots of parts uh, that I've been collecting over the years. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends. Um, it's been a really fun adventure so far. Um, all right. That bird's telling me to shut up. All right. Until next time, everybody. Take care.